Hi guys, it's me Lambi again. So today I have more scary Reddit stories for you guys. I have one from the Stevie Games and it's called My First Sleep Paralysis. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. I don't remember exactly when this was. I'm pretty sure it was around March of 2018. I was 12 years old and in seventh grade. I often listen to slash read scary stories online about things like sleep paralysis, but I never thought it would happen to me. So before I had woken up, I was having a strange dream. I was playing Counter-Strike, but it felt like I wasn't playing, it was real. I was shooting some targets, then I blacked out for a second. I woke up on the main road that goes into my neighborhood and saw the road was gone. There were elderly people standing out the front houses, all reading a newspaper and the sign at the front of my neighborhood only reads Brook G with the rest crumbling off. Then I appeared at my morning bus stop for school looking at my phone. Everything was normal until a bush that normally isn't there screamed at me. I remember clearly feeling as though this was normal. So I screamed back. We went back and forth until I woke up with the scream echoing in my ears. I was in my bed looking against the wall, unable to move. I hadn't realized that I was experiencing sleep paralysis, but was still freaked out by that screaming to fall back asleep. I lay there not hearing anything for about five minutes, then I heard what sounded like heavy boots hitting the ground out in my living room. Just so you know, outside my bedroom there's a hallway on the left is a bathroom and at the end is my parents room and at the end on the right is a door that goes to my living room the footsteps grew closer coming to the hallway and then my parents room at that moment I remember my dad was out of town on a business trip so it was just me my mom and my seven-year-old brother I heard the walking started up again and came towards my room the door opened and whatever whatever was out there came in, walked to the side of my bed and stared at me. I closed my eyes and began to pray. I'm not really religious, but it's the only thing that I can think of to do. After what felt like hours, I tried to turn over and look to see if anyone is there. I roll over with my eyes still closed to appear to anyone that is there and I'm still asleep. I open my eyes and begin to squint. The coast is clear. I crawl under my bed slowly and look at the clock. 4.14 a.m. Dang, I got school tomorrow, I thought. I tiptoed over to my door and grabbed a decorative ore my mom put on the hallway in my room and walked out of the hall. The light in our living room door was open with light on which was not normal, especially when my dad's out of town. I checked the bathroom and peeked around the corner of the door. Nobody. So I make a silent squint in my mom's room, putting the oar down the floor. I shake her awake quietly, whispering her name. Mama, I think there is someone in the house. I heard walking around outside my room and, and I began to tear up, realizing this all may have been in my head. I woke up, my mom for nothing. It's all right, she said. We can go check the house real quick. I grabbed the oar and went to check the house with my mother. There was nobody in our house. So I go back to bed, relieved that we're safe and that none of this was real. I haven't had a sleep paralysis experience since and I'm glad it wasn't worse. So, this is creepy, like, imagine you see something walking towards you and you don't know what it is. It looks real, it looks, it looks like something and then you go to wake up your mom, make a big deal out of it, like get scared, sweat up, and then it turns out it was just inside your head. Like, but hey, at least it wasn't real though. 
So, guys, let me know what you think about this video, about the story. And like always, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and comment your favorite Reddit story so I can bring it on the channel for you guys. Thank you for watching.